The chef takes his uh, wife's breast milk and makes cheese out of it, but he but he's not serving it at the restaurant he cooks at. Well, I would hope not. Well, when I first heard but about this going on the menu, <laughs> yeah, I just assumed this is what the guy was doing. Yeah. And Liz Thorpe, I guess, is someone who tried it. I don't know if it's his wife. No, it's not his wife. Okay, Liz Thorpe, right, meaning the picture to the right, vice president of Murray's Cheese in Greenwich Village. Oh, so they went to a cheese expert okay. with this guy's breast milk with his cheese. T titty cheese. With his titty cheese. Thank titty you, Anthony. Titty cheese. So she's an expert on cheese. She works in this shop in Greenwich Village, and... Uh, she gives her take on the breast milk cheese. Ready for this? <laughs> this is going to fucking no, crush I, out. I'm not. It was slippery, slightly crunchy, uh -oh. and tasted like pickles. Ah, oh, God, uh, that's disgusting. And she gives it a thumbs down. Yeah, I would too. And it is called a finish. Okay, thank you, Dan of Virginia Beach. If, if, if something is slippery and crunchy... And pickly tasting, and it's cheese. Yeah, that that is a a, a putrid description of something. <laughs> <laughs> that really is disgusting. I don't think cheese is, is supposed to be crunchy. I'm trying to think. I've had no, a I, I've had no. a I've had a few of those world cheeses over the years. I don't think they're supposed to be crunchy. No, it's supposed to be like creamy, like uh, like yeah. like the texture is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cheese. Ugh. Unless it's cheese. a. A specialty oh, cheese where they put some kind of crunch in, but I'm assuming crunch in it. I'm assuming this uh, chef did not make no. make I'm it with the hope your, that it was crunchy. Your basic American Swiss st stuff like that. What about uh, mozzarella? <laughs> uh, mozzarella, like my mother used to make it. Ah, uh, she take the mozzarella. What's wrong with cheddar? Cheddar sharp, sharp I cheddar. Fucking. Love cheddar. Oh, okay, probably good. my favorite you, cheese you ever. Scared me. Is a nice sharp cheddar, yeah. sliced and put on crackers. I don't like cheese that you have to kind of like spoon out and spread. No, no, I, spread I'm not cheese. a fan of that. No, no, no. I want a nice slice. What about cottage cheese? Ugh. Do you like cottage cheese? Hell, fucking no. I, I can't even look at Hell it. Hell, fucking it no. It just seems disgusting. What about goat cheese? Goat cheese, another gamey fucking... Goat cheese and feta cheese is a waste of time. Uh, fucking smells like goat udder. <laughs> <laughs> feta on a nice Greek salad, it, 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 ah, it's okay. Yeah? But nah, nothing better than like a nice blue cheese, which... which it needed the money! Which is in the... <laughs> Which is in the crumbled cheese category. Crumbled. Yeah, you don't spread it really, but it does no, break apart very it. easily. Yeah, it's wonderful on a salad. Yeah, uh, crumbled blue cheese. No. Yes. Yes. Blue cheese rules. What's wonderful wrong with you? It's salad. rotting. It's uh, molding. Stop it. All no. cheeses are basically rotting and no, molding. No, I don't like that. Like moldy fucking. Blue cheese, good man. You can, oh, and I don't like feta, feta cheese. You don't like feta? Feta, feta cheese. Feta, it's, feta cheese. It's got no. Greek leg hairs in it. Yeah, fe <laughs> feta is <laughs> feta cheese is very overrated. Greek chest hair. I love feta cheese. <laughs> it's overrated. Big Greek eyebrows stuck in fucking <laughs> grape leaves. <laughs> That shit is overrated, Jimmy. Uh, I love should. feta cheese. I don't hate it, but it's just overrated. It's just there. I like cheese that I can break and it will, it will like I can break like a block of cheese. Yeah, and yeah. I can just sprinkle up my fingers like like a my well, thumb across. You my, like uh, that? Yeah. Well, the cheese expert continues. She goes, uh, "If breast milk cheese was good cheese, we would stock it." So she would stock it in this specialty shop she runs in Greenwich Village. That seems like it would be. Um Sort of toxic or something, like like toxic waste. Yeah, I don't know. Well, well, well. The yeah. mother is saying, "Look, man, I'm healthier than what they're doing to the cows that make the real cheese." Man, no matter what the city says, Lori Mason insists the breast milk she supplied her cheese making husband is more wholesome than anything on the shelves at Whole Foods. Well, there you go. How her about some ball cheese then? <laughs> Why don't we just go to fucking the whole route? How about ass crack cheese? <laughs> And belly button cheese. Why don't we try the cheese? Fucking uncircumcised cock cheese. Do you want that, too? If we're going to take human body cheese and make cheese out of it? Well, why don't we at least try oh, it? God damn you, Danny. What the fuck is that? 
Oh, God. I don't know. He's got a picture of a big... Oh, my God. Jesus. He's got a picture of a cock and and, and there's some cheesy shit It's smegma. It's kind of collected. Schmeg is collected under the rim of the helmet. It looks like the skin has been pulled back, (laughs) revealing a cluster of smegma. (laughs) Can I see that again, Dan? Why do you need to see it again? Because I wanted to make sure I'm describing it accurately. It's a pink cock, not very large, and the skin is taut. It's been pulled back. Yes. Revealing a milky white cluster of cheese on the bottom of the head and under the rim. With a few dark spots in it. Yeah. Looks like it has a really strong stench. That is disgusting. Uh, a pungent odor. Well, well, how about this? One of our fine listeners can't give you credit because I don't know what your fucking name is because you did it no. off your phone. Uh, can you make it tit cheese it? Uh, cheeses? <laughs> cheese tits. Tit cheese it. Or tit. <laughs> We can work on the name, but let's do this. Let's get some of this fucking breast milk cheese, and let's try it out. What's wrong with you guys? No way, no how. Well, (laughs) I know I'm in, because I did the the ice cream. And uh, Danny, are you in? Cheese. Would you try some breast milk cheese? Yeah, I'll try some, absolutely. I just saw uh, uh, Nicolini was just sniffing a bunch of cheese on her fucking desk. Well, fuck, if they can get breast milk cheese, why can't Are we? They? Maybe they have regular cheese. Who, who knows they, what they have? a bunch of regular cheese. I don't know. Maybe they'll do no, it when they're they doing come a, back. I bet you they're doing a uh, like a, one of those uh, taste tests. Are they? Because she was smelling it and kind of making a funny face. I don't know. Maybe we ought to get that audio. See, if we had a producer, we would have like a taste <laughs> a taste <laughs> test contest today. Yes. But this is the obvious stuff that you need to do if you produce a radio show. It's a no-brainer. You, you have cheese waiting for us, and one of them is the breast milk cheese. Sorry, my Prius took off and went in the opposite direction of work. Can 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 you get breast milk cheese though? I think they got it on Channel Eleven. Why not? It might be. I don't know what the the deal is. I just saw her like making a, a really funky face while she was looking at some cheese. Uh, Steve goes. Do you want to talk to the guy? I don't want to talk to the guy. I want to. I want to try it out. Yeah, we should find that's out the, if we talk to him if we can get some of his cheese. That's uh, the bit and uh, very she's, obvious. She's taking. She's checking out cheeses from the Stinky Cheese Festival. Is that what's going on? Is there a stinky cheese festival going on? Yes, in in, in my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call it. That's what, that's what I call it. Come to the stinky cheese festival? That, yeah, that's how I get a blowjob. I'll point at my balls and I say, come to the oh. stinky cheese festival. Oh my God. How, how often does that work for you? Uh, I'd say one out of every 1,400 times. <laughs> What like, if do? I fuck and I don't wipe it off for two or three days, and then I shit a few times, <laughs> and then I do some jumping jacks. Uh, I want to do the cheese tasting. Let's go. Or right, let's get the stinky cheeses in here. Let's do something Jesus with cheese today. Christ. Dan in Connecticut. Hey, boys. Just what? wanted to thank you for letting me throw up my breakfast burrito in my mouth. While Atta boy. What? <laughs> what? That's really that fucking... Slimy, crunchy, fresh milk. Oh, oh, what part got you? The, the uh, description? The crunchy thing? Dude, the slimy, crunchy, are you kidding me? It was oh, slippery. Sli- slippery. I think she was being polite. I think slippery does mean slimy. slimy. Yep. I think she was trying it's to be nice same. about it. Slimy. It's the You're same right. You know what? Do things. The one thing about cheese, it's not supposed to be slippery. You take a block of cheese and you throw it on your 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 kitchen counter, it's it's gonna stick immediately. Fud. It's gonna just thud. thud. It's not but supposed to slide across the counter nah, and fall on the floor. Ma- Fresh mozzarella. Yeah. That's uh, that's kind of slimy and watery. But that's yeah. not gonna move too much either, man. Mm, nah, but nah. It, but but that's like good stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me continue. Her milk is 100 percent organic, free range, and full grass fed. She told the Post, I eat healthier than your average cow, and I'm not pumped full of steroids. This, you're, you're a fucking person. When Mason's husband, Daniel, blogged about making some of his wife's excess breast milk at the cheese, customers at his restaurant, uh, whatever, began demanding to have a taste. They wanted a fucking they taste. They wanted it. a taste. Yeah, but, but they wanted it right from her tits. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't, he didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> Uh, it's not against the law, but uh, but the city was uh, strongly advising not to do it. Of course, uh, there's health got to be a health fucking problem with that. The cheese could pause a potential health hazard. There you go, Ant. The official said that did not stop diners eager to sample the human dairy from showing up at the restaurant yesterday. We had some people who ordered the cheese plate, and I had to tell them we don't serve the breast milk cheese in the restaurant. I told them that if they want to try it, there's a recipe on. Uh, his website. Oh my god! Great, nice oh recipe. Oh my god! Mm. Does this help your business or hurt your business? 
I imagine if we put breast milk cheese on the menu at F.H. Riley's, I, I would say it, it, it hurts business. I would say it hurts. You get a couple weirdos You're that need to come in. You're going to get a couple freaks that <laughs> right. come in. Give me your tit cheese. I need to try your tit cheese. Uh, I hear you got tit cheese. <laughs> yeah, we got the tit. Give me. I need a plate of tit cheese. Right now. <laughs> right. But the rest of the people are like, what's fucking wrong with you? <laughs> It was slippery, slightly crunchy. It tastes like pickles. We did that part, but I wanted to say it again. Uh, uh, they're saying it's unsafe, probably. It's not intended for adults or for wide public consumption. Uh, risk would depend on the health of the lactating woman. Uh, no intention of selling the wife's cheese, blah, blah, blah. All right, Jeez. so it's a huge story, though. It's right on the front page. That's fantastic. So, so let's hunt down some breast milk cheese. We were able to do breast milk ice cream. Why not breast milk cheese? <sighs> Oh, they're showing cheese on the news, and it's just disgusting. Lindbergh and Gorg. You want some Gorgonzola? Do you like Gorgonzola? Isn't that a blue cheese derivative of something? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'd like an answer, please. <laughs> The cheeses I like the most. I don't know. What, I, I don't know what they're called. That's the problem. I, dude, yeah, cheese you get a really nice piece of cheese, and the, and they tell you what it is. You don't. You can't remember Swiss, the name. Cheddar, American. No, it gets way better than that stuff, Ann. No. It, it really yeah. gets way no, better than that stuff. I, I, cheese, I'm, not a I'm cheese telling guy. you it does, though. Cheese makes me like... Uh, uh, it brings up that, like, uh, phlegm. Yeah. Phlegmy. I mentioned that in my new book, Cheese, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about cheese and the culture of Americana. <laughs> hey, e can we hunt down some, some breast milk cheese? Sure. Or some, some of these stinky cheeses? Ugh. We 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 just want to try try some cheese. Uh, today. How about this smoked gouda? Smoked gouda. Yeah. Now Fucking. You, now there's you're nothing talking. better uh, than a week's worth. Now you're talking. A stoned wheat cracker. And some smoked gouda on it. Now no. you're fucking gouda. talking. Gu that smoked gouda. sounds disgusting. It's amazing. I yeah. don't like the names of cheeses. You know, they've named cheeses things that uh, are disgusting. Lindbergh. Limburger cheese. Swiss it smells like the baby. Swiss sounds okay. No, because you used to... Uh, Try to try America. to oh, see, I missed try, that one. try to like make believe you're hearing the word Swiss for the first time. It doesn't sound good. But you just like know country, it as Swiss for, for your entire life. Switzerland and Swiss. That's okay. Swiss cocoa. Swiss doesn't sound good. Go, uh, bad. Gorgonzola <laughs> sounds disgusting. Gorgonzola. Ugh. Mm. And 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 Gouda mm. doesn't sound good either. Gouda is uh, it's just uh, ugh, ugh, names for cheeses. Gorgonzola sounds like something that it's like, it's like the fifth stage of penile cancer. <laughs> you have Gorgonzola, which means they have to slice off your penis or you don't live. Of the cock. <laughs> I got Gorgonzola to prick. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> I know a little something about cheeses, and this guy Dustin is right. Go ahead, Dustin in Texas. Listen to this little fun fact. Huh? Yeah, I watched a show one time where there is in some foreign country they they make a certain kind of cheese and they use maggots to soften it up. Got to use the maggots to soften it up. Man. Just stop. I'm you, telling yeah, you, eat, the you... maggots eat through the cheese and then they shit it out <laughs> and it makes it really soft. I'm telling you <laughs> that what wh why why what kind of cheese is that? It's I'm maggot. Telling. Oh, maggot duty cheese. Yeah, maggot duty <laughs> cheese. Well, Ed, you started this by saying cheese is like. Is rotting. I mean, yeah, what yeah. they have to do to make cheese is not. Is I've not seen, pretty. I've seen shows on like uh, how they make it and shit like that. I watch those a lot, and I saw how they make um, Swiss cheese, mm -hmm. and it really is disgusting. The separation of the the whey and the curd, <laughs> <laughs> the whey and the curd. It's just yeah. ugh. And they take these big like cheesecloth. I guess that's what they call it that for, and and separate it, and they put it in and scoop out the. The way, <laughs> and the, the curd. Yeah, it's wow. disgusting. Fucking curd. Wait, Even that is disgusting sounding. Like, who who saw the maggots eating cheese and said, "Let's get yeah. those off there"? And said, "No, no, let's wait till they shit it out, <laughs> yeah, and, and then, then we'll spread it, and then eat it." On our saltines. <laughs> it all starts with some weirdo. A, a weirdo goes, "I'm going to try that," and then all of a sudden he goes, "Oh my god, this tastes good." You guys, maggot shit cheese. Yeah, there's no sane person is coming up with this weird shit in the food industry. <laughs> Hell, fuck. Oh, no. Look, see, it starts out. We're we're looking at a little. Um, thing on how they make it. It starts out, you got the the milk there, yeah, and it's just being stirred about, and then uh, before you know it, it turns into this coagulated mess, and that's the curd. Mm. You ever go to someone's Sounds house? like turd. You ever go to someone's house that has some nice cheeses? No. And they're like, hey, you want to try some, some cheese I got? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. And they pull out the cheese and there's all sorts of mold on it. 
And these cheese lovers, they're like, oh, let me just cut that mold off. And it's 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 completely acceptable to just cut the mold off oh. your cheese. No, it's and, not. And then, you know, slice up uh, the, the cheese that's still, you know, tasty or whatever. <laughs> You've never done that? No. no. <laughs> unless unless, unless uh, cut the mold off your cheese is a metaphor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to cut the mold off your cheese. It's cutting the mold off the cheese. <laughs> Do you think, he wants, think some... he wants some cheese? Do you think he wants to separate the way and good? <laughs> Sal in Jersey. Sal. Hey, guys. Good morning. Sal. Good morning, good morning Sal. Sal. Man. <laughs> That's probably the old bitch that made cheese for Sal. <laughs> yeah, that's how they make the, the tit cheese. <laughs> yeah. I would like to know if Anthony would really be turned on or, or try the woman's pity milk if the woman was really, really, really hot. See, that, wow. I, I don't think as far as breast milk goes, that makes a difference. No. I really don't. How about really young? I don't think it makes a difference. I'm <laughs> real young. I'll go back to me and Danny. We're the only ones that uh, tried the breast milk ice cream, and it was rough, man. It uh, was rough. And then if they show me a picture that Pat Duffy's sister is actually hot, it wouldn't make a damn difference. No, I that would not. That shit was gamey. You guys are the absolute best. I uh, love you guys. Uh, long time, first time. Great Mwah. show. There would have to be um, like a, uh, yeah, see, a here trade. Here's the mold thing. Uh, Christian in uh, New Jersey. Christian. Hey, when I was uh, 15, I used to work at a factory uh, that uh, scraped mold off aged cheese. Scraped and, uh, mold off aged cheese. I'm yes. telling you, this is uh, what they do. I, I think job. I think it's. I think it's uh, a good thing when your cheese gets moldy. <laughs> no, it's not. I think it is. Though. I beg to differ. I think it is. That was your job. What do you do with the mold? And they threw it away. Well, what, what did you do with the mold? Oh, wait till you get to <laughs> La Oh, my God. Larry King today is just going to be here, Larry. Larry. All right. Thank you, Christian. Bunch it out. Yeah.